In the first paragraph, at the bottom of um, page six, we are being told that women leaders under the Embrace Kenya lobby group have vowed to push to have women allocated half of government positions if we indeed have and, a and, referendum. And, and indeed, that's the question I was raising, that yeah. the political <coughs> element in all this process yes. yet to, is yet to come. Mm. Now, Leah, they're talking about increased or demanding for state positions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or maybe this, and, and because of the... The provisions that are women need to be actually be be, be catered for and yes. considered has mm -hmm. not also been addressed by mm -hmm. parliament. Mm -hmm. So I think we, even when we talk about reducing the number of counties, wards, or even reducing the number of uh, representation in parliament, yes. we need also look to look at the political the political problem, yeah. the political question mm -hmm. when it comes to amendments or referendum, mm -hmm. because these are the issues that I think will determine mm -hmm. whether we are going actually to sail smooth mm -hmm. to having the, 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 the referendum. Yes, yeah. uh, and on this particular issue, Embrace Kenya, of course, is our women uh, mm -hmm. saying this is what we want. Yeah. For this referendum, if it was we are to go the referendum way yes. uh, to succeed, we would actually need different groups to come together yeah. uh, and say this is what is of interest to us. For example, okay. we talk about the different constituencies, especially mm -hmm. the marginalized eh? yeah. um, and minorities. Mm -hmm. So basically, you'll have women saying these are the issues we're interested in. And in the current constitution that you're operating with, yeah. women actually negotiated quite well for themselves. Yes. Eh? But the youth, mm -hmm. this constitution actually did not give enough opportunities mm -hmm. to young people mm -hmm. and the disabled and other marginalized members of our society. And right. remember what constitution is supposed to do. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to protect all of us. It's yeah. supposed to, you know, give us equality mm -hmm. uh, under the law. Mm -hmm. So we'll see more of this. And that is why I think we shouldn't be quick to settle mm -hmm. and say these are the things uh, we want. Let's mm -hmm. listen to such uh, groups. In fact, I've always favored, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, you know, the, the bombers approach, eh? uh -huh. where we actually bring different groups and representatives of su uh, specific interest. Mm -hmm. We discuss, thrash through these issues mm -hmm. and finally agree that these are the proposals that we think are interesting. When we yes. build that consensus, then mm -hmm. it will be easy to go to Mwananchi yeah, and say so these are yeah, the yeah. issues we have agreed mm -hmm. uh, on, mm -hmm. and now we can actually endorse. So that actually, by the time we get to the referendum, it's almost a yes, yes uh, mm -hmm. kind of a referendum. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Now, um, of course, and of the, as you have said, the Constitution does provide for some of these positions for women. So perhaps mm -hmm. also looking at implementation rather than just going to a referendum to call for something that we could have implemented. And, and that's why we keep saying we don't have to always mm. amend the law to fix certain issues yes. that we can actually do. For mm. example, even increasing, you know, support for devolution. Right. We all understand why we needed, you know, why devol devolution is important. Mm -hmm. And therefore, all we needed to do is the more functions that go to the counties, of course, they are supported, backed up by enough resources. Eh? Yes. But when we see there isn't, uh, you know, movement in that direction, then now we say, ah, we may want to protect these, uh, yeah. you know, in the law. But some of these things to basically be political mm. goodwill. Good but we also want to see more cooperation between the national government and the county uh, government, uh, 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 administration, you know, of, uh, of, of resources. We see that this is being done uh, responsibly. Yes. But the, changing the law does not cure some mm -hmm. of the other issues that go beyond the law, but they are political, they are social, it's yes. basically based on our setup. But, 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 but one of the things I think that why people want to push this towards a referendum, I yeah. think there are some guarantees that it provides. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because of lack of political goodwill. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of insincerity and, and uh, uh, kind of sure. people don't trust yeah. each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think when you put it and, and seal it in, within the, the, the constitutional framework, mm -hmm. then I think there, there's some guarantees. Mm -hmm. But as I agree with you is that mm -hmm. some things don't need to go to the referendum. But yes. even look at the way our, our Senate and Parliament conducts itself, mm -hmm. even the, 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 the county assemblies. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of suspicion mm -hmm. among people. Mm -hmm. Motions and things that come into Parliament, mm -hmm. into Senate, must have some interest. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's where the problem lies. Absolutely. And of course, let's not forget the political ambitions of yeah. the players in yeah. this particular uh, initiative because uh, as some somebody said right here uh, he described who's this this is the Orange Democratic chairman said 